hello everyone welcome welcome back all right so this is going to be for gemini's how are you guys doing i hope that everybody is doing blessed i hope that you're in just the best of health today i hope that you're just having this beautiful positive energy and just know that everything is going to be okay today i woke up just feeling this wonderful wonderful vibe of understanding you know and i'm just so happy that my divine speak to me in that way and just want me to just remain on this positive light path that they have before me so i hope you're feeling the same so gemini's we're going to get into your energy today we're going to see what we have for the person that you're talk you're thinking about or talking about or the person that be us talking about you or thinking about you we're going to see their point of things too so it's kind of like a a, a dive in i just want to do two swatches in this read so if this resonates for you remember to like your video give your video a huge thumbs up and you guys i have that 50 dollars special and i feel like it's going to be a till april 30th of the month i'll see if um i will create something else like create another special i'm just gonna have that it depends how i feel in that moment you guys so it might go into the next month um you know i feel like i should keep it honestly and and just redo vamp my offers um we'll see we'll see how it goes so let's just get started with an energy from the divine deck and see what the universe Ooh have for you look at this this was flipped so healer a lot of you are a healer spiritual healer and this is called for action but i feel like with this energy that's coming through gemini like you already know this like you know there's something special about you but you just never really paid attention to it if that makes sense and I feel like your divine wants you to get in tapped with this energy and don't be afraid and I feel like why am I seeing like people like you think about what other people might think about you even when you bring this up you know like you have healing hands for some of you I'm seeing like you're taking care of people when you are very very young and is this something to do with how you nurture them that bring them back to health or you just know exactly what is needed to get someone um you know cured or better or feeling better you know so please explore this they're saying this is what you need to do with your life you know this is what you need to do this is your path all right so tell me more all right something about i want you to choose what is this about so we have a twin tie well twin flame tie connection coming through here and you guys i feel like you're having a difficult time with this situation and it's because this person is teaching you something you know there <laughs> is it, you're having a difficult time because it's going to be difficult with this energy okay so they're saying that you need to choose so there's other people that don't approve of you and this person being together i'm seeing gossip i'm seeing talk here i'm seeing hurtful commotion like someone is saying something that they can't take back either okay so tell me more Ooh, playfulness so this person makes you feel alive and free this person brings an energy into your life that you know you know you haven't had from anyone else and not that you don't value people that comes into your life especially family but this person is something special about them and this is because this is the other half of you that's been missing okay um this is one soul tied into two or split into two i should say and you're looking at this your, yourself you're looking at your other half you need this person you need this person in your life so and that's the like that's the energy right so it's very hard for someone to tell you to get rid of them when you can't you can't and now you're being placed in the middle to choose right all right so <laughs> don't fear the divine love this is what i'm seeing here again i'm feeling that energy like you're being called to something bigger than you ever imagined I feel like your spiritual side of things is trying to call you to do your purpose, you know? Remember to stay calm, you guys, and to embrace and to show love and kindness, too. And I feel like this is going to lead you to your everlasting victory. The thing that you want for yourself, where you want to see yourself, you know? All right, so one more. Okay, so let's see. 
Ooh, you have two lovers. Again, twin flame connection coming through here. <laughs> twin flame connection coming through here. And this is going to be known. And I feel like you're going to be getting some kind of download or information or understanding with this high divine of air. Okay, and I feel like your your divine is speaking through you in your subconscious, in your dreams, the showing you things, you know, showing you visions and showing you things that you need to be doing or you need to be trying. And I feel like now, as soon as you have this information, you're going to have to decide what you want to do with it. All right, so let's get entwined, Gemini, and see what's going on with this energy because obviously you have someone very strong coming into your life. And you really don't understand it. I feel like this is a contract. Of course, it's a contract to inflame two lovers. Very passionate energy. This is what I'm feeling like. This happened very quickly. This felt so good. But now you're in a in a, a tough spot where people just don't understand your love, and they shouldn't. They shouldn't have to understand your love between this person or understand why you have such a soft spot for this person. That's your business. But now you have to, I feel like you need to set healthy boundaries here. What you need from your friends and your family is love and support. And you, you know, I feel like what this is, is like you probably involved them in a lot of things that happened with this twin flame. And now they feel like they have a say so. And that's the thing with sharing information. But, you know, it's like when they have a problem, you, you, you. You, you don't tell them to leave this person. As long as you don't, you don't tell them to leave and, and, and stuff like that. You don't owe them anything, okay? So make sure to set healthy boundaries when it comes to your relationship. <clears throat> I feel like if this person is not physically abusing you, then you should not have shared anything or mentally abusing you. I feel like if you're going through a lot of situations here with your person that is not physically like they're having their hands on you and trying to, you know, diminish your character and your self-esteem and you're just going through stupid things, you know, things that, you know, it's not stupid in the moment because of course we're here in the physical world and we just have all these feelings, right, that we carry this burden in this body that we carry. So it's like a big deal, you know, when someone is not doing what they should to make this relationship blossom and grow and move forward, it bothers you and it seems like a big deal. So I feel like, you know, just be careful what you share with those people. Okay, so we have the tower moment here. Aries or Scorpio energy. So obviously there's a lot of power struggle between you and this person. Passion is real though. Okay, passion is real. So a lot of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Ear or an Aries energy. <clears throat> but I'm also seeing the fool here in reverse. Gemini Aquarius and Libra energy. Two iconic cards. You guys that's coming out in your first card ever. <laughs> Then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like you don't see a new direction. You don't see this person growing. You don't see this person trying to better themselves for this relationship. And like I said, that was the problem before. You're not seeing this relationship move in the way you want it to move at your time, at your pace. Um, and just remember, I feel like this is something that this person is challenging you of, you know, you're not, you know, it's like pointing out you need to be patient, but some of you are just like, oh, listen, I've been patient two years now. It's, it's like they're really tapping it. Remember, you know, in a spiritual world, there's no time. There's no time. But here we're like, we have, we don't, we don't have that much time. That's, you know, you need to hurry up. <laughs> here is, we have this time here in the physical. So it's like. They're showing you how to be patient. I feel like this energy wants you to actually enjoy your life. Enjoy your life and don't worry about me. Once you get your energy off of me, knowing that, yeah, you want, if you feel like this person needs to, is there to make you happy, that's going to be an issue. You know, your happiness is within. So you have to make sure that you're focusing on yourself and you're not relying on this person to make you happy and to make you feel special, okay? And when you get that energy off of this person, then this person's energy can flow, you know, and then focus on you because they're seeing like, oh, wow, this person is, you know, growing and, you know, they're just living life and they're just like, like I want to be a part of that. You know, so they're getting closer to you as you're moving forward because they want to experience this with you. That's how energy flow, you guys. So make sure to really stay focused on yourself, 
even though you have a reason here, because I'm seeing a reason here that you and this person split or has this kind of separation going on at this moment. Because some of you are showing me that there is a, a tower moment. You know, there's a tower moment between you and this person. And you don't trust them because they have done something to you. They have really affected the relationship. Something have been done here. Like I'm seeing this person, if they even return, you're just proceeding with caution. You, you don't trust this person. You don't see how they can better this relationship either. So tell me more. <clears throat> Let's see. The High Front. A lot of you, this is a marriage. A marriage in reverse. Taurus energy is coming out here. And I'm seeing you walking away physically, not with your heart, but physically here. <laughs> but this person, it's like I'm seeing that there was an embarrassing situation that happened between you and this person with this Five of Swords in reverse. There was a lot of embarrassment. There was a lot of like, um, that everyone knew your business. Again, we're getting to that. Everyone knows the business, you know? You have to change that about your relationship. What happens between two people is stronger when it stays between two people. I mean, it's great to like, oh, my bae got me some flowers today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but nobody needs to know the struggles that you're going through unless this, you're trying to get out and this person is physically or mentally abusive, okay? Then you need to, you need to reach out for help. But... This is an embarrassing situation for some of you. I'm seeing an argument that might be out and about in public that was disgraceful. I'm seeing something with the five of swords here, like a huge deceit. This could also be a third party situation here. And this person in that moment didn't have, um, didn't feel like they were sorry. This is what I'm getting here, especially with the five of swords. They didn't feel like they were sorry in that moment. They didn't feel like they didn't they cared about the situation. They were very cold. I feel like this person is coming back, okay? But again, be careful with this Five of Swords energy because, yeah, they're ready to compromise, but only when if, if it benefits them in the long run, okay? This relationship had a lot of history. This is what I'm seeing here. And you walked away. With a lot of burden off of your back. So a lot of you are enjoying freedom right now. Because you're like, this is a little bit different. You know? <laughs> this is a little different in this moment. And then we have the Knight of Cups here. We have the Lovers and we have the Queen of Swords. Finally putting your feet down. So Twin Flame connection is confirmed, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. With Lovers. Ooh, Gemini energy looking at your other self. You know, I feel like this is like a spiritual contentment, especially when you're dreaming and you see a person in your dream that looked just like you and you're looking at yourself. This is like you're mirroring each other right now. Mirroring each other in what? Separation. Look at this in reverse. <laughs> Separation, you guys. Oof, somebody's making a codependent um, decision. I just wanted to point that out too. With someone in this person's ears about this relationship, this marriage. It's like I'm getting if you're ending this marriage because the high front is unfortunately is in reverse. And, you know, you're ending this marriage codependently, okay? Having people tell you this and tell you that. And again, I'm getting people, people in this conversation, but I'm seeing communication here. I feel like this person wants a second chance. This is not the last of it. This is not, um, the story doesn't end yet. This is what I'm seeing here, gems. This doesn't end. This person is coming back. I feel like they're, yes, they're a little dramatic. I'm seeing a little crybaby here. Someone is crying, you know, pleading for a second chance. Again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. This could be. I'm seeing communication about this. Um, I don't feel like this person is ready for this. This this um, relationship being over. <laughs> You're like, you know, letting things go. Realizing like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. 
Six of Cups, yeah, contract relationship. This person is coming up from your past. You can have a deep tie. This is hard. This is hard. This is a, a soul tie. This is like, this person been in your life before, a past life energy, and that's why it's so strong within this life. You just, you have unfinished business. You're trying to, the angels are trying to have you get, like, get stronger in the physical world. Like, see if your love can overcome in the physical. The spiritual, I feel like, you know, you guys are very in love and you just want to experience, have that experience under your belt, honestly, in this life. Let's see. They're, I'm feeling like this person is like a friendly person. But they're not to be messed with. This is what I'm seeing, you know, very cold. Very cold if they don't get their way, especially if they see you with someone else. It's not going to end well. It's going to be publicly. It's going to be publicly arguing, throwing things. This is what I'm seeing here. This person will actually fight over you physically. They, they think that, they don't think that you're going to leave them at all. I feel like they want to, they're ready to conquer, you know, in the moment. And it's funny, it's, I shouldn't say funny, but I, that's just a, a way of how I speak. But I, it's just crazy how I'm seeing this person. It's like, you have to be careful because they could act cool at one moment. And it's like a zero to a hundred really quickly out of nowhere. This is what I'm seeing here. So it's like in that moment, it's like if they get jealous, it, they don't know how to handle that. You know, air signs. This is what I'm picking up in this particular person. I'm seeing a lot of water, air, you know, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. For some of you, Aries. It doesn't even matter. This person does have a lot of qualities in their chart. But I just feel like the way this person is coming off when it comes to their family, the Ten of Pentacles, the things that they have built, especially their marriage, and it's feeling threatened like if your guys are going to break up to just you know try to better yourself that's something different but if you're breaking up for to be with someone else that's going to be a whole different story you know that's what i'm picking up here there's just no way <laughs> this person is like there's just no way they want to keep that intact keep that intact you guys Okay, so let's see what this person's story is. I just wanted to be nosy because we're already at 17 minutes and I just wanted to see what the story of this person is because of how they feel into their energy. Gemini's, please. Thank you. Gemini's energy person what's this person um energy towards gemini only please energy towards gemini what this person want to say towards gemini gemini's person please what does this person want to say <laughs> all right Ooh. They want to get back something about an argument that happened between you and them. And it's like so many things. And I feel like a lot of people, again, with the five of wands, they were worried about this, but they're not anymore. This is what I'm feeling. They want to get back. They want to resolve this. They're saying that you walked away from this. It was too much for you. People were getting at you. For some of you, you felt attacked in this situation. You were trying to... Just let this person have your back. And this person in that moment didn't. Mm. I feel like you're letting it go, though. It's like they feel like you're more approachable at this moment. You're coming off as the Queen of Wands. Very nourishing and beautiful. And they feel like you have the, their crown, you know. This is what I'm seeing here. Their eyes are totally on you. Totally on you. Yep. <laughs> You have a lot to deal with, though, with this coldness energy. You have the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. You have this person, love, coming towards you in affections here. 
And they're saying there's so many things with this relationship that needs to be conquered. I feel like these are your purpose together to try to take away the noise with the five of pentacles here with all the money issues for some of you the coldness this person might disappear you might feel like this person have left you for someone else what am i hearing like it's not what it seems with this three of cups in reverse something shady with your friends you guys some be careful with this energy because your friends are the one that's what i'm being told that are playing two sides your friends are making problems with your relationship. You already have problems with this person or some kind of family situation, siblings or something. Three of Cups in reverse is making issues with this love. You're already going to have problems. This is a twin flame connection. Hey, you're going to have problems, guys. Okay? But you don't need people to get in and give you more problems. This is a twin flame connection. It's going to be hard enough okay all right so we have the strength <laughs> yeah don't come for me the three of swords uh, uh, uh. one more please and the eight of swords you guys are running away you're making this decision based on fear um, especially your person, they're scared too. This is like, I feel like this is the deepest connection they ever had. And they're scared of where this is leading. There's a three of swords here. They're hurt by this. You're hurt by this. For some of you, you're cheated on this person. This is what I'm seeing. Or this person cheated on you. And I feel like at this point, your person was kind of restricted. Um, what they didn't know what was going on here but they're releasing this energy they're releasing a lot of energy because i'm seeing like the nine of swords the eight of swords in reverse it's like it happened i'm done i'm not holding on to this they're still recovering though it really what happened whatever happened between you and this person really broke them really broke them but of course for some of you are dealing with someone that has leo in their chart it could be a leo moon and if you have a Leo moon, honey, and you're dealing with a Leo moon, this person is definitely stubborn as hell. And they're not going to show you that you hurt them. No, no, no. They're going to try to hurt you. So you're like playing this hurting game back and forth. That's what I'm seeing here. Ooh, something fell. Something fell. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups. Wow. <laughs> the Tower again. I feel like you guys are power, like power um, struggle couple. You guys need to let go of the ego. That's what I'm hearing. It's way too much pride oh my gosh for both sides somebody has to be the person that you know plays the nurturing you know <laughs> the nurturing part in this relationship i feel like you can they're looking at you as the queen of wands very nurturing but you still have this this um fire in your chart for you know Aries, Leo, or sag energy in your chart you could also be uh, a sag um <laughs> moon or your your characteristic as your descendants this, this oh my god your 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 rising could also be a sag energy okay you could appear to be a sag but you're not like you're acting you're acting like that you know very stubborn um but i'm seeing like there is like, I don't know what to do. I don't know who I am. Kind of energy, your independence, a lot of loss here. A lot of you could be going through money issues as well as a couple. Like, you just don't see where the money is going. You have questions about that. I'm seeing some form of loss here. Along with the identity, like, you just lost yourself. You're tired. Being in this relationship, you know? 
you want a nurturing relationship. I feel like you um, are going to be both ending this relationship based on what you don't have within this person. But I don't feel like, again, it's a, a long-term situation. I feel like it's like, um, listen, if you don't change, this is what can happen kind of vibe. Look at that. The Ten of Cups. Well, not the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. Again, you know, something about this family, something about this last name, something about this legacy, like it needs to remain the same. No matter what we do as a couple, like this needs to be the same. There is no one that should be coming in and try to, you know, change this routine. You're not tying up this home, this business, you know, whatever you guys have built here. You want this. The king of cups you want to be able to trust this person and you want a fulfilled relationship someone that you're going to know that is going to have your back and everything that's going on you feel like this person is not loyal let me shuffle this and then pluck thank you angels Ooh. the two of cups is coming up here with this so this is a contract relationship but i'm seeing the sun in reverse here i'm seeing the judgment in reverse. There's some kind of karmic energy here. Let me just pluck. Ooh, look at this thing. Okay, so twin flame confirmed. Twin flame confirmed. Hmm. I'm getting two different energies, you guys, and it's freaking me the hell out. Now that we're getting two energies, someone is sleeping with someone. Someone is still with someone here. Since this happened, I'm seeing like karma, karma, the way this happened. I feel like this was a, a relationship that should have been more like a friendship and not um, something emotionally tied when it comes to intimacy. And this is something that happened. The sun is in reverse. I don't feel like this person is happy, but I feel like they cannot get out of this situation. There's a decision that needs to be made here. <sighs> wow. The six of... <sighs> six of wands, you guys. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Aries energy. I'm also seeing Libra energy in the judgment. I'm also seeing the sun and Leo. Leo came up twice here. This person feels fulfilled with you. Something about your energy. They feel fulfilled with you. Something about your home. Like something that you guys used to like do a lot of good things together. I'm seeing everything together. And then something changed. I feel like it got serious really quickly. Why am I seeing money? Money issues. Someone is arguing about money. Money that is missing. Like I feel like it's also is a, a connection where this person you give, 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 and this person you feel like this person having given enough in this relationship, in this connection. But I'm seeing like they're looking at you as the six of um they're looking at you as a six of wands, you guys. Six of wands. It's like they're missing out. They know they're missing out. So there's going to be some changes that are coming to you. If you haven't even explored this yet, a lot of you are taking off in your business or your money. Um, but there is something going on with this relationship, particularly where you feel like this person is either taken from you or taken from the business. Uh, like I said, it's something to do with this Ten of Pentacles, your home. This person could even be, you know, you're, you're looking at your bank account and you realize, like, where's your check? Like, what happened to this money? What happened to that money? Like, where is it going? And this person is doing something else. I feel like they, they got themselves in a situation here with this Two of Cups. They got really invested with a soulmate tie. This is their soulmate, but it's like they're already involved with you. That's what I'm feeling here. They already got involved with you. You guys are coming off as married. They're revealing the soulmate situation. But it's too late for that. Five of Cups. You feel abandoned here. Make this person abandon you. Let's 
the um the final energy with this person. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow, lovers is coming up. And the lovers is in reverse. This is like the first energy where you're telling me who you are. And you're showing up as the lovers in reverse. So they feel like they have learned so much from you. But you guys are in separation. They feel like, you know, you're good for them. This is a great, great match. Like you are their match. But you see, a soulmate connection is different. It's like this person and you is going through a twin flame tie. So it's a lot more problems. And then with this energy, yeah, they're going to have problems, but it's the least. It, it's a, a lot least. But um, but for some of you, you guys are married to this twin flame. They're determined. They're determined. They don't, they're not ready to give up. Look at this. You have the emperor. You have the knight of wands. They're rushing back to you. For, they better. Karma is nobody's friend. <laughs> okay, this is what I have for you, gems. This was very good. <laughs> Love you guys. I mean, it was good because I'm seeing like this person, you know, is waking up at the very end of this reading. Lucky thing we got into their energy. But if this portion resonates with you, you guys know what to do. Like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And also, you guys, um, if it doesn't resonate, I will have the playlist linked below in the description. And yeah, I love you guys. I know that I only want the best for you. And this is your situation. Protect your situation. Pray over your situation. If you want to have that long-term, um, you know, victory, you have that infinity card. So just know that it's meant for you. This is yours. Even though this is a soulmate connection, this person knows that the way they're going about it. Since they, ever, since they did this, look at that. They've been experiencing nothing but karma. Your angel have been watching over you watching over you and this person is feeling it like look there is like karma karma with this particular connection i'm seeing like they're still sleeping with this person they're gonna have to make a decision based on it and they haven't yet i feel like they're coming in to see what you know they can do to better themselves here even though you guys have a lot of issues they're coming back to you you know it's like somebody introduced you some of you might at work or through some kind of work friend, some kind of friend that you have met introduce you. I'm feeling like it was more like a like getting together business wise, and I don't know something to do with that because I'm seeing this either at school, like moving up in the ladder, especially in education and learning. Something about that. You guys were probably trying to better yourself, and you went to like some kind of meeting or something to do with money. Maybe taxes as well. You're doing your taxes and you met this person. And this is what happened. But they're they're determined now. This person doesn't say I love you a lot. I know that. I see that here. They don't say I love you a lot. They show it morely in making love and, you know, all of that. The way they're with you. But they don't say that a lot. It's more, more about being stable and feeling safe and feeling secure in this relationship. That's what they want to do but they're not very emotional but this is what i have for you i love you guys and i will see you guys in your next